tempo than others, but they have good rhythm and everything works in a nice smooth fashion here. Now, you can actually learn to hit golf balls like this. This is a, this is a super drill. So start forward, turn back, and through. You see, it takes a lot of the conscious thought out of the swing too, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. All right, why don't we go ahead and hit one or two shots doing this for us. Yeah, hold it. Get the ball position. Could be. There you go. Just check that. Make sure it's off your armpit there. I tend to get it back, don't I? That's right. That's an old habit because of the way that you swung the club before, you see? Look back at the ball. Little kick. There's a good one. Right at the flag. Let's do that again. Hit them like that. You'll definitely like the changes. Oh, this is great. So nice and relaxed there now. So start it forward. And remember, just kick the knee there. I like that little start to your swing there. Many great players just kick the knee. Have some little trigger to start the swing. Little kick now. Well, the swing's really coming on well. I mean, it's, it's changed enormously from when we first started. Now, you've got a certain amount of things to think about. Now, what we're going to do now is just go ahead and hit some shots. And what I'd like you to be aware of is your target when you're doing this. Right. When you're hitting shots, you can't think of too many things. I mean, all I want you to do is try to think of maybe two things. One, get your dress position right, and then just one thing in the actual motion itself. And please, whatever you do, make sure that when you're hitting shots, that you do keep that target in mind. I keep saying that, but it's no good you just being so involved with your golf swing and not being aware of where you want the ball to go. All right. Well, after all this, it comes down to now hitting the shot, doesn't it? That's right. All right. Well, a lot of pieces to put together, but let's see right. what we can do. Right. Now, I'm going to give you one little tip here. Get behind the ball when you want to line up. All right. Pick a spot somewhere ahead of it. You've obviously read about this before, but it's a good idea to pick a little spot in front of the ball on your line to the target, and then simply walk yourself around and place the club head behind the ball on line to that, what we call the intermediate target. Feet together. Prior to you making your little kick with your knee, just also, just exhale. Right. Just let, let that tension out of your body a there. Little, yeah, a little tight. tight there. Well, that's understandable. But you know, if you can just breathe there, okay, it keeps you nice and relaxed. In all sports, people breathe, and that's important. Little kick there, and off you go. Well, certainly a big difference, my Much goodness. Better. really is. So remember on the odd shot there, let's, uh, let's make sure you get your alignment correct. Well, that was really good, Bill. Your swing's really coming on a treat. Thank you, David. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you on your own to practice for a while. I want you to hit some shots, but I also want you to make sure you do a lot of the drills in between. Remember, when you practice, it's quality, not quantity. You see many golfers just hit ball after ball without any real conscious thought. So take your time, make sure you're conscious of your target, and get the feel for what we're trying to get you to do. And I'm going to come back and put you on video, and then have a look at the old swings and compare them to what they're looking like now. Sounds great. Good. Well, you're serious about these drills, aren't you, Bill? Well, I am, David. You know, this alignment drill has really helped me quite a bit. I feel like I'm really starting to understand what the golf swing is supposed to do. Well, it's certainly looking good. I mean, it's such a different look about your swing than it was previously. Have you hit quite a few good shots? I have hit quite a few good shots. I've hit a few terrible ones, but I wasn't going to tell you about them. Well, that's understandable at this stage. You know, everything's so new. But as long as you've kept doing the drills, I mean, that's important. Keep doing them in between hitting shots. They've really helped over the last couple of hours. I've made some good progress. Good. 
Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. The swings stay looking excellent. Why don't we uh, just hit a couple of woods here to make sure you understand how the swing uh, works with the wood. All right. Thank you. You know, really, Bill, the swing is no different at all. It's just a matter of how you approach it. First of all, with an iron, certainly we're hitting down on the ball a lot more. But with a wood, we've got more of an ascending blow. So to help you to hit this, all you've got to do really is get your foot moved further to the right, your right foot that is, so you have a wider stance. So right. you go through the same routine. Very good. And now just feel there's a little bit more weight on your right side. So that sets your right side maybe just a little bit lower than your left at address. You, right. Can you feel your right side a little bit lower? Yes, the ball feels like it's much farther forward. Yes, now that's really an illusion because it's really in the same place. So it's right opposite your left armpit there, you see. Mm -hmm. Now the sensation really is that you're, you're going to hit up on the ball. So you just sense maybe that your head's a little more behind the ball as you make contact. But to all intents and purposes, you're just making the same golf swing. Right. All right. So, good smooth rhythm here. How about that? That felt great. What a good swing that was. So, hit one more for me, please. Position look pretty good. That looks very good. Yes, Get nice and comfortable there. I think you're really going to like the look of that, Bill. So what I'd like to do at this stage is for you now to hit your six iron again. I don't think you need these clubs lying on the ground any longer. I think you've got that down pat. And I'm going to put some swings on film for you, then we're going to b go back and have a look at them and compare them to your old swing. All right, great. All right? Well, even at normal speed, Bill, the swing is looking so much better. Your shots are starting to fly straighter. Your divots look a lot squarer now towards the target. Overall, you look so much more relaxed and your rhythm's better and finishing in better balance. So you've done a super job so far. Let's see how your new swing matches up against your old one, Bill. Certainly a big difference there. Let's have a little look, Bill, just at a few of the different positions that you've got into. The dress position looks so much different. Ball position's in a good spot, and you look better balanced. As you move in a halfway back position, look at the flex in your right knee, and look how much simpler your turn looks. Much better balanced there. Now here's a big change at the top, Bill. Look at the gap between your knees. Certainly much more compact looking golf swing. The club is no longer looking across the line. And I'd just like to see possibly a little bit more weight even into your right side than you have at the moment. So it's certainly looking good, but it can still get better. I like the look of this. You've held on to the angle so much better, and look at your upper body. So you haven't got that big tilt that you had before. Your weight is now moving more into your left side. What a good looking impact position you have there, Bill. It looks like everything's working forward into the left side, you're off your right foot, and your hands are now ahead of the club head. Great impact position. Well, I think you've got now a classical finish position here, Bill. You look like you're down more, you're not standing straight up on it, the club is more around your body, and your arms are more linked to your turn. Looks a lot different to the old one, doesn't it? Checking on your address, Bill, the first thing we see is how much better your alignment is. You've got all your body parts, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, and your feet all lined up parallel to the target. But look at your posture, how much better your body angles are. You've now got your weight more on the balls of the feet, not hanging out onto your toes. Now we're going to have an overall look at your golf swing as far as maintaining your angles. See the outline of your body there? 
You watch as you swing how you'll now stay within those outlines. That will really help your consistency. On your finished position, you've come out of that outline, which is fine. I like this change. This is very important. Look how the club head now is outside of your hands. A totally different position. Now, having a look at your plane, you can see it's on a much steeper angle than it was originally. I like this position. This is certainly going to help you get in a good top of the backswing position to come down. The whole golf swing now really, Bill, is so much more compact. You're in better balance. I like how you retain the flex in your right knee. And really through impact, your arms and your body are so much closer together. It's like your body is controlling the club. Or as I call it, the dog's really wagging the tail now. Well, Bill, the way the swing's starting to look, you don't have to pay me for this lesson. You can just give me a percentage of your winnings. <laughs> well, it's starting to look a little better, isn't it, David? Well, I'm really excited for you because that's a tremendous difference from earlier in the week, you know, and if we can just keep you on this track there, there's no question you're going to play some super golf. Well, you've given me some good drills and some good swing thoughts that hopefully I can practice and, and maybe even improve a little more. Well, these thoughts are so important, Bill, because what you have to work on is a long-term plan for improvement. You know, if you work on these quick tips, they only last for a short period of time. But what you need is a program to work on, and I think with these thoughts, you now become your own best teacher. So you can analyze your own swing. You can put yourself on film, you can check yourself in a video, and you can have continued improvement. That's the big thing. Know what to work on. When you get out in the practice tee, know what you're practicing on. So many people just go out and hit balls not really knowing what they're doing. Now, the big thing is now being able to transfer this out onto the golf course because that's a little different out there, as you well know. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to go out and play a few holes now and see if we can, you know, practice what we've worked on and uh, see if we can work a little on the mental side of it too because it's a little different and uh, I think uh, you're going to find you're going to have a lot of fun out there with this. Here we are on the first tee, and this is what it's all about, learning to score well and play well. And many people, Bill, ask me if they should take time off and not even play after they've had instruction. But I say as long as you can keep your thoughts separate and keep your thoughts to a minimum out on the golf course and be very aware of your scoring abilities, in other words, you've got to rely on your short game and try to see the shots that you want to hit. If you can do all that and keep away from all the technical stuff, which is what you obviously have to try to work on at home and on the practice tee, then you'll be able to play well still. The thing that I see that many people do, they're so conscious of their swing and every single aspect of it, they get tight and they get tense and they really can't swing. So the important thing to remember is when you're out here is work on a good routine. Get behind the golf ball, see the shot that you want to hit, get down, go ahead and trust your swing and go ahead and play. Fine. Is there anything that I should be keying on right now? Well, as I said before, I think one swing thought would be great. And the one I'd like you to work on is thinking in terms of your navel and the club moving together. If you can get started correctly, you've got every chance of making a good swing. All right. Well, let's try one here. All right. Just relax. Great shot, Bill. If you work at your swing in the right way, you can't help but improve your game. 